Photo etch detail sets are a great way to upgrade your stock scale models. But what happens if you have to make a round or cylindrical item from flat photo etch parts? Bending cylinders, U shapes, or radii is not easy. However, this tool will help. It's called the Deluxe Brass Assist from the small shop based in the USA. You'll find it under reference SMS006. It's a high quality precision rolling tool. There's a CNC milled and anodized aluminium rolling base and a series of stainless steel or aluminium rolling rods. The rods fit in the channels cut into the base. They're sized from 3 sixteenths of an inch to 3 quarters of an inch in diameter. On the underside is a soft rubber rolling deck that's a key part of the whole process. Further down the plate, there are beams that can be used to bend tie downs to shape. And finally, there's a bending comb for making handles out of wire. The instructions show how to use both sides of the tool, but we'll examine how the tool works now. Here we'll be making these cylindrical external fuel tanks for Russian T-34s from ABA. Firstly, carefully detach the photo etch items from their fret. We're using the small shop cutoff set, reference SMS015, for this task. Just rock a sharp rounded blade over the stubs until the part is free. Next, file down any stubs using a sanding stick or needle file. You're now ready to bend your item into shape. Firstly, preform the part on the upper side of the tool. To do this, use progressively smaller sizes of roller. Also, use a slightly undersized roller in a wider channel. If the brass is too springy, you need to anneal it by heating it with a flame until red hot. After annealing, it should now take a cylindrical shape more easily. Keep rolling till the cylinder begins to be formed. Flip over the tool. It's time to use the rubber rolling mat. Take a smaller rod and a larger one. Now roll the part until it creates a circle and the ends meet. You can also just use the rubber rolling mat. This is particularly handy if a part is small or delicate. You quickly and easily achieve a cylinder. You're now ready for the next stage, gluing the item together. Here we have the finished cylinders with all parts attached, but it doesn't end there. Remember, you can use the tool's raised beams to bend these tiny handles into shape. Just hold in place with a blade and bend using tweezers. Likewise, when it comes to the bending comb, you can make perfectly matching grab handles over and over again. Use soft copper wire for the best results. Choose the width of teeth that best suit your handle and insert the wire. Press firmly on the top to square the edges and pull down on the wire to get everything into shape. You can then cut the item and repeat as often as necessary. As we've demonstrated, this is a very clever tool with a multitude of uses. It's tough, well engineered and indispensable for creating these sorts of rounded or curved shapes. So get properly equipped, ready for working with PhotoEdge.